Hi, my name is Dider, and I'm going to be going over how the pagination and filters work on Anvil Scholar. So once you search something on Anvil Scholar, it will be you'll be uh, you get the results for that query. You get 10 articles by default. You get the filter set to 1900 to 2019, and you get a default of relevance. Those are the filters. You can change the filters, and it'll update. You can combine them as well, so you could change the date range to something, and it'll also leave the previous one previous filter that you have added so you can bind these or you can just clear all the filters also another feature that we added was <clears throat> we improved the the pagination we made it server side rather than client side as well as the filtering was also client side, client side previously we made it server side so now it's way it's uh, much more efficient because it doesn't require the client to have to compute the filters and it's all done server side as well as the way the pagination is done now rather than making a call to the API previously it would request 100 pages now it only specifies uh, the pages that we want so for example when we search for trees it specifies it wants the first 10 articles of this uh, this call if you click on page 5 it'll specify that it wants the fifth page with a 10 page size on this on this uh, API call rather than before it would just load 100 uh, articles. So the way this is, this is being done is in developer stats we have a method called search which defines the parameters page sort by dates and size and then we pass this to the user controller that JS depending on what the user has has put in has it, uh, the input. Um, so for example if a user search, uh, changes the sort by recent this is the logic behind how the the URL is going to be formatted. For example, you can see page five. If you have if you have you change the filter here, it'll update the URL. If you change this one, it'll also update up there. You see sort by most recent, and then you see the date range. So this all gets the logic for that is done here. When you click on sort by recent, it goes through this logic. So by relevance, they all have their own their own logic behind them. So uh, the API call, the actual API call is being made right here. You, we pass it from from the display results. We pass it to the controller, and then we make the API call depending on the parameters that the user has set. And you can see if, for example, if there was no size specified, it would just not include the size in the URL. Right there. So it's the same thing for all the other queries. If if it's not specified, it'll just do the default, or rather, all the other filters, it'll just do the default. Um, I think that's pretty much it for filters and pagination. Uh, we improved it a lot by doing it by making it server side rather than client side, and now it's much much more optimized. There's no delay between making a query and having the filters being applied. Yeah, that's gonna do it for filters and pagination. Thank you.